Hi guys, um, in this video I'm gonna explain how you can fix um, an issue you might have if you switch to T-Mobile um, 5G home internet. You might have some devices which are compatible with 2.4G uh, and then um, and you're not able to get them set up or connected to your Wi-Fi and they don't work properly. You can, you can get it fixed easily. All you need to do is like to make some changes to your router. Uh, what you can do is you can type, go to the, like it can, it can be any browser, but um, I'm gonna use the uh, Google, not on the search bar, uh, on the top part type, one nine two dash one six eight dash one two dash one and hit enter and you can see and the t-mobile mobile browser info uh it will show give you some uh like um info um is the gateway um, and the router um, like uh, ready or connected how's the internet and then how's the quality and then uh, how many devices are connected and other info but uh, in this part we don't we don't want to use this so we go to the network and then we go to the Wi-Fi network and we select so it's it's by default by 5G, but it's select 2.4G, um, and ask for uh, our username and password. The factory username and password you can find uh, underneath um, the router. Uh, it does show the username is usually admin. And the password uh, um, is like factory password and it's going to show there. But a lot of time if you get um, your service online or you have, you have to go usually to, to a store to purchase it. So they will, they will give you or ask you to put in your password and just, um, just memorize a password. So you already have your password to manage your um, uh, router info. Um, so you're gonna put your own password, whatever password uh, you have selected before, before uh, to make these changes. Oh, actually. I put wrong password, my apology. All right, there we go. And then, as you can see, I've selected uh, the Wi-Fi to be 2.4G, um, and then go down, so all the way down. You don't need to do anything just hit save changes and, and wait for a little and then when you see this part that the changes have been applied it means that now you only have 2.4 I mean your internet is going to be 2.4 G um, for any reason if you want to if you want to change it again to 5 G um, you can just um, do start start over the same the whole process and select the 5G like here and then save changes. But it's still on uh, 2.4G because uh, we didn't change anything. But by the way, I want to make sure it's gonna be 2.4G. When you see this. Uh, Part pops up. You're all set. I hope you enjoy, enjoy this video, and it's gonna be helpful. And now you can we can go and start start over 
the setup um, of your new, I mean, the previous devices. It will be, it will be uh, compatible with the 2.4G. All right, have a good day, bye.